So I'm going to make a start on these ARP head studs. I wasn't originally going to do it, but since I'm going to be going for about 300 kilowatt and pushing quite a bit of boost, it's probably safe to do so. So valve cover's got to come back off. Do it in the meantime while the downpipe's getting made up. So dig into it. Big rush going on to try to get it done in time for the tune. So late nights ahead. Right, so that's that off. Right, so I'm ready to take the factory head bolts out. Now I'm doing the one by one method, so I'm not taking the head off. So what I do is take one bolt out and then put the ARP head stud in and torque it down, working inside outwards. The key to this is to have the engine stone cold, so leave it over 24 hours or so and have no coolant in the block, otherwise you'll get head gasket leaks of oil. So I'm going to go ahead and take this first one out. You gotta put a bit of uh, put a bit of your back into it. But that's the first one coming out fairly smoothly. Just got a half inch power bar and a sort of semi-ish long extension. It's the first head bolt. Nine to go. So I just got this ARP molly loop here, going to put that on the threads before you put it in. Just going to put a tiny bit into the thread that protrudes into the block, but more important where the nut goes. So I'm just going to smear a bit on there and I can pop it in. Just going to smear a bit on the tip and then just going to slide it on in there so hopefully you don't get too much friction. It's always good to, to lube up before you go all in there guys. Easy as that. The washers here, crack those open. So I got the washer here, gonna put that in first, otherwise, once you put the stud in first and you try to put this on, it'll hit the valve spring. So pop that in, making sure you don't drop it down the oil drain. So once you've got the washer in, stud can go in, wind that down hand tight, and then good to put the nut on. Got the ARP nut here, put that on, here's a method I use, I'll put it through here first so it doesn't fall, pop it in there, bang, Bob's your uncle, Colin's your dad. Helen's your auntie. So, get the extension we had before. Now it is a 13 mil for the ARP nuts. Here we have the almighty torque wrench. So I'm going to torque it down to 95 Newton meters. The final is 108, but I just want to be sure that the seal's not going to, of the head gasket's not going to open up and have a leak. And then do them all. 108 afterwards. Second stud going in. Washer's already down there. So just crank it up. Obviously working inside outwards. So it's all evenly torqued down. Well done. Major key. Or else things will go bad. There she is. Out comes the third bolt. On to the fourth one. So I've gone from there to there to there to there. I'll do that one, then that one, and so forth. So only three to go now. I've just done that one, so I've Come right over here to this one. Do that hand tight. 
and then what I'll do is go to that one, then that last one there. Be all done. Pretty simple job, really. Just got the final head stud in, so now's the last step. I have to torque it to the final ARP torque, which is 108 newton meters. So same procedure, working from inwards out. And that's it, all done. So, just need to put the valve cover back on. And when I eventually get it started, run it up for 15 minutes, let it cool right back down again, and I'll probably recheck the torque just before I, before I go for my tune. Not long to go now though. Getting there. The rush is on. So that's that, there's all the stock head bolts, no time for that because we want to run more boost. It honestly takes about 45 minutes if you know what you're doing, but basically anyone can probably do it, it's no big job. Especially on the Evo, it's pretty straightforward, you don't have to take any of the head stuff out, cams etc like other engines, which is good. So. See you in the next video.